Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to another episode of Senior Spotlight. I'm Rosemary. So today we are going to work on a pumpkin craft. We're going to make fabric pumpkins. So I hope you're ready to have fun. Let's get started. If anybody goes to the Tulare Public Library, there will be free craft bags that you can take to do this project. There are a limited number of bags, so give us a call at 559-685-4501 see if we have any bags left that you can take home but if for whatever reason you can't get a hold of one or you can't make it then any piece of fabric will do in this case I'm choosing orange of course for the pumpkin craft but actually you can choose any type of fabric you want your pumpkin to be made out of I chose the size uh, about 17 and a half by 21 I found a rectangle shape worked best than a square shape, um, but of course, if you want a bigger pumpkin, then make the cloth a bigger size. So with this fabric, it doesn't really matter what size you use. You are welcome to iron your pumpkin cloth if you want, but I, I don't find that it's necessary. But um, so our first step, besides uh, getting the cloth out, is we're going to grab our polyfill. Now really, this project is based more on feel and look. It really is um, just based on what size a pumpkin and how stuffed you want it. but. I do find, let me see, this is probably about, mm, for my hand, it's probably about four handfuls. What I like to do, because uh, we do want it kind of dense rather than aired out, is I grab two rubber bands and I just put it here in the center of our polyfill and I just smush it together. So I'm just smashing and putting that so it holds the polyfill together. Then I'm going to take my other rubber band and just put it here on the outside here. Again, just to make it more firm and to hold the polyfill closer together. Like that. Just like that. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact, but I find that this helps a lot in stabilizing um, the pumpkin. Then what I do is I just grab the four ends, like so, keeping the polyfill in the middle. Let me turn it so you can see better. There you go. And then like this. And then you'll notice that you made four other corners by bringing up so these are really the corners we need to pay attention to because this, these are the corners that if any polyfill is going to peek out, it's going to be from these corners. But just grab it up. You know, when you grab all the points, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of push down on the polyfill. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So I'm grabbing all the points. So we have all the points here, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and just push the polyfill while pulling on the corners. We're pushing the polyfill and just grabbing it, almost like you're making an ice pack. Just like that. You're just pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And already we're getting the structure of the pumpkin done. And see what I mean about the creases? That's why I wouldn't worry too much about ironing it first. When you feel like you've gotten all the points and you've gotten a good uh, shape, what you're going to do is you're going to hold it firm with one hand and then grab one of the rubber bands. 
and we're going to hold it and then we're just going to tie it off with the rubber band, okay? While holding it firm with one hand. So we're going to go around like so until you get the rubber band to close that end. That's what we want. Again, there's no sewing in this craft. I purposely avoided it because I wanted it to be a simple craft that that really um, most people can do. I just uh, put it. There we go. So there we have our shape here. And what's good about this craft too is because we're not sewing it, you can always adjust. Like if you're if you feel well, I want a little bit more stuffing on this side, you could just kind of pull and just adjust it so. But I wouldn't just adjust it too much at this point because we are going to still uh, manipulate the shape with the twine. So don't get too carried away. What I would do too is put another rubber band right above the rubber band you put just to further seal it in. would even put a third rubber band. So I want my stem with this size to kind of be around this size. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to get it and I'm going to start cutting. You know, some people would say, ta-da, that's the fabric pumpkin, but I wanted to take it a little bit further. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get another rubber band and then put it right above that last rubber band. That's the firming up of the stem. And then I would even do one more. And we can maybe cut it a little bit more. Even it out. You want to leave at least a little space uh, right above. Don't cut it down to the rubber band, okay? So we're going to just trim it a little bit down. There. There. Okay. So, now we have the beginnings of a pumpkin with our stem. So, now we're going to get our twine. And remember I said that we have uh, four pieces of 24 inch twine. In this case, I'm using green, but if you want to use a beige twine, then go for it or any other type of colored twine. So you want to get one of the 24 inch twines and you want to just uh, put your pumpkin in the middle. Usually I like to start with the widest section here put in the middle and then what you're just going to do is you're going to bring it up and you're going to tie it. When you tie it though, you're going to cinch it up as firm as you can. So you're going to pull on it and see how it's uh, making the grooves of the pumpkin already. So we're going to cinch it up. Here's where it gets kind of tricky, especially if you're just doing it by yourself. You kind of want to put your finger there while you make another knot there. While holding it tight because you want the pumpkin to stay cinched together. Okay? So that we got a double knot. And that's what I meant about you can adjust later. So if you're like, oh, that's not even, then you can easily just move the twine a little bit more to the middle if you wanted to. If you wanted to, you could just adjust. This is what's going to give it more of a pumpkin look, I think. Here. I'm going to get these loose threads out of the way. Okay. So, and then since we did another knot, let's get these end twines out of the way by grabbing one of the rubber bands 
in here and then we can just loop it under. You can cut, a, cut it off at this point, but I wouldn't, I would actually save it so we can wrap it around and make the stem later. So go ahead and hold off on doing that. As we get another piece of twine, 24 inches once again. And then this time we're gonna do it on the opposite side, making a cross there. So we're gonna put this diagonally, so you see the cross, and this twine, we're gonna put it this way. Four piece of twine goes on the other diagonal. Now we can start with our stem and what I would do first is all these that we didn't get, these I didn't loop under, but what you can do is uh, just wrap it across. We're going to start making our stem now. We're going to have a green stem so we want to cover the rubber band and again just move it over move it on down you can cut them if you feel that that's the best that's fine and then what I would do is if you don't cut them just rubber band them Don't worry too much about them poking out at this point because what we're going to do next is get our twine that's 75 inches long and we're going to wrap it all from the bottom to the top to cover all the loose ends but also the rubber bands. So then once again you want to get one of those, you want to get a rubber band and just slide it under, slide it under. You don't have to tie it, just slide it under. And then you're gonna start going around from the bottom. Just covering everything and tucking in those loose ends. You wanna kinda of end towards the top course you could uh, circle back down and around and round but kind of get it towards the top so we're just going to get a little bit of glue to seal the end here okay there Ta -da! So the pumpkin's really taking shape so now what we're going to do, you can let this dry for a little bit. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to keep going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the top and I'm going to cover the top orange part with the 45 inch twine. Get your glue on first to make this easier. Just put it right on top. Oh, you might get your hands a little sticky, but that's okay. We're, we're having fun, so it's okay. So then what we're going to do with our 45 inch twine is we're going to start rolling it. We're just going to start making it a little wheel and just, I know this is going to be hard, for you. I'm going to try to get it so you can see. We're just going to make a little wheel. 
by going around and around and around and around. You want to keep going until you go about the size, close to the size of your pumpkin and see how it gets harder to hold the shape. Once it starts getting harder to hold the shape, then I would start putting it on the glue. I'm going to put it on top there. Just push it down. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go around covering any of the areas that show orange. Again, just a little stickiness of your hands, but it'll be worth it once you have your pumpkin done. <laughs> We're going to glue this little part in. Just push it down. Hold it for a few seconds and voila. Perfect. Okay. So, have our pumpkin. You can make a jack o' lantern with markers if you have any thing you want to put to decorate the top, any plastic leaves. I didn't have no plastic leaves, so what I did is I improvised by making one out of a pipe cleaner. And again, it's up to you whether you want to do this or not. You can definitely get other decorations that you may have at home. And what you're going to do is you're going to kind of, I would say about two inches. And then you're going to just bring it down about how big you think the leaf should be. Just bring it down, bring it down, maybe a little bit more than two inches. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just bend it to make the point and then push it down. And then we have like a fish shape there. And then you're just going to twist the end part like this to keep the shape of the leaf. And then, of course, I would wait till that dries more. But again, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. Then you're going to just wrap it around. And start right here and just. Go through the leaf. And this will cover any of those knots that you have on top too. Whatever you want to do with your pumpkin, that's what you should do, the decoration. So, And then when you get to the end part here, again, you want to kind of just wrap it around the pipe cleaner. See if I could get it. Just be careful that you don't unravel your um, stem. That's why I would wait till it's a little bit more dry before you, you do this. Okay. There we go. And ta-da! There we have our pumpkin. Thank you for watching Senior Spotlight. I hope you have fun making your fabric pumpkins. Until next time, take care.